Hey folks, Jim Fuller here, and next to me, this is John Sharps from Sharps Bros. He's the guy that makes these little receivers we've been playing around with here. Well, not little, they're kind of big. How are you doing today, John? I'm doing good. Doing cool. good. Yeah, John, John stopped in today so we could go over some of the stuff we want to do with these receivers. Morning folks, Jim Fuller here. Um, we have a, a nice announcement today. The MB47 receivers are going up for sale. Next week, you'll be able to buy them on our website, the Strip Receivers. Uh, we're gonna actually offer these later on with the, um, you know, with the option of the bullet guide riveted in, side rail, trigger guard riveted on, whatever you wanna do. If you don't wanna do that stuff yourself, we may even offer them with a barrel pressed in headspace so you can just finish out building the gun, whatever the case. But over the last eight months since we introduced this to you, if you remember, I think it was back in, the, I don't know, December or January, uh, when we first talked, started talking about these when John brought them to us and uh, wanted us to help him finish him because he wasn't quite there and he needed some AK knowledge to help get finished. And for the last eight months, we've been doing that. We've been through about, I think, five or six different versions of this until we finally got what we want. And I think what we ended up with is something you're really going to like. Um, I've built several prototypes here and we've got several thousand rounds through a lot of these guns that we've built. We've actually worn out one already that we just tore apart because it's just, <laughs> we did, anyhow. Um, point is, Starting today, this one, uh, I just posted a picture of this yesterday. This is a RD702M. We're going to make these available for our 702 model. You'll have the choice of buying the milled receiver. Uh, price point's going to be about the same, maybe a little bit more because the receiver's a lot more money. Uh, but the thing is, is uh, it's a whole new way to go. This is our test dummy today when we go to the range. Uh, we just converted this yesterday. We built it up, test fired it, made sure it worked, and then uh, we converted it to full auto. And we're going to take it out to the range today and dump about six, 700 rounds through it just to see how it reacts. And uh, what that does for us, besides having fun, it tells us that if we can't break it that way, when you get it, you can't break it either. And it's gonna be a good gun that's gonna be reliable for you for a long time. So that's our plan with these guns on that. As you can see here, we got a couple of carbines. Again, this one's gonna be, so this is a select fire gun. We're gonna run the hell out of this thing today and just see what we can do to it. And everybody's seen our DMRs before. This is another version of the DMR we got going on, 16 inch barrel with a little bit different rifling. We suspect this gun may be just as accurate as our first one that came out, but we're gonna be testing this today also. Uh, but sit back, um, take a look at all the stuff we got going here. And we're gonna be back from the range in a little while. We'll see some video here of these guns being used out on the range. And when we get back, we're gonna talk about what we discovered through these things again and carry on a little bit further. Thanks. Mag popped up. That's it. Whew. Look at that smoke coming off that thing. This is how you test a gun properly. If it'll do this for me, a semi-auto gun will do it quite well for you, for lifetime of you, your kids, and your grandkids. This is how it's done, folks. This is quality. Thank you very much. White hot and the handguard's fucking melting. And it didn't miss a fucking beat. Look at all that shit burning right there. 
That's what you call burning it in. Back from the range, from testing uh, the new 702M. Uh, it got hot. <laughs> we did probably, I think we did 23 mag dumps through it as fast as we could. And uh, everything ran fine. The only problem we had was the hand guard. You can see melted pretty good. Um, we'll get a close up of that here in a little bit to give you a better look at it. But for the most part, this thing's doing what it's supposed to do. So we got 650 roughly rounds through it for the first time today on full auto. And, and, and you'll see in the video, that was as fast as we could change mags. We had the mags stacked up, ready to go. We were changing them as fast as we could, just to put as much stress on this as we could. Just so we know that when you get a semi-auto, you're not gonna have any problems because of what we did to this in the full auto format. So um, anyhow, we hope you uh, appreciate this and uh, get a good look at what happened here. And uh, you'll never be able to do that with a semi-auto gun, uh, but that just goes to show you how hot we got this gun. Anyhow, uh, the receivers are going to be available here. You can, you can email us at um, info at rifledynamics.com or call us as well and uh, get yours. Get yours built up. Order one from us, whatever you like. But I think you're going to like the MB47 receivers that we got going here. Thank you much.